Hey guys and girls. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilia 2. Give me one second to adjust this. Okay. off we faced off with Odin we finished that part off and um, we did a lot of chapter questing uh, we're gonna pay off our debt um, I did a couple of elite boss fights off screen to uh, get the money so let's do this Novius <laughs> that's a new one I know you don't have much downtime these days This is the Department of Dimensional Affairs. We need you to return to Spirius as soon as possible. Again? You can't just order Luger around like that. Agreed. We have located the final way marker. Do hurry. Ooh, the final one. The final way marker? Come on, Luger, you gotta get moving. Nova Secret. Very here. Do you have a free moment? I was hoping to discuss a matter of a personal nature. A private call? Well, well. When did you two get so close? We'll step away so you can speak in peace. Please don't. I would like all of you to hear this. I understand that Nova has revealed highly personal information about me. In retaliation, I would like to divulge some of Nova's private secrets. <laughs> oh, she wow. found out. Revenge doesn't get served much colder than this. I don't know that it would be appropriate for us to hear a young lady's secrets. Don't do this, Vera. Yeah, Luger's right. Nova didn't mean you any harm. Not even tempted, huh? Mighty noble of you. Oh. I can't believe you blew a chance to get dirt on Nova. You're wise beyond your years. Truly, nothing good is born of revenge. You are correct. I know. In the heat of anger, I was about to do something foolish. Revealing her credit card <laughs> numbers, bank account details, and GHS user history. What was I thinking? Wow. Please forget this ever happened. I apologize for wasting your time. She really was going to tell us all that? Yikes. There's private secrets and then there's that. I'm ever <laughs> so glad we chose not to ask. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we're gonna have at Spears Corp. See what they have for us. On the location of the next and the last way marker, I guess. I'm surprised we're already at the uh the location of the last one. It's been so somewhat of a ride. <laughs> I hope I'm properly leveled. I don't want to go to Canaan if it, you know it's gonna be a terrible, terrible thing. What an effective idea! Leave it to the privileged elite to find a way to make their lives even easier. What? Anyone can post a job request? Well done. We've been expecting you. We're on a roll, lady. We should get out there and grab the last way marker. It's not that easy. Something's preventing entry into fractured dimensions. We think it's the spirit Maxwell. <gasps> oh, wow. The, the real one. The will bring you up to speed on all the details in his office. Or at least the prime one. Luger, hey. Jude. This is no time for small talk, you guys. 
All you need to know is Maxwell stopping us from getting the last way marker. Wait, Maxwell? Things are getting interesting. It would seem I need to have a chat with these spurious overseers of yours. We're coming with you. Fine, just hurry up. I wonder why she would do that. She has to have her reasons. Chapter 11. Mila Maxwell. Is it wise to bring along an entourage like this? With the foreign king and a great spirit? Why, Luda, you're late. I believe you have something to tell us, Mr. Bacor. Yes, something about Maxwell. My goodness, no one said you brought a VIP. Please pardon the intrusion. I am the king of Riza Maxia. Call me Gaius. It's a pleasure, Highness. Beasley Bakur, CEO of the Spirius Corporation. Are you certain you're safe here? What, with the peace accord ratification ceremony fast approaching? Fear not. He is under my protection. Who's she? Trusted. Oh, I'm just a humble spirit. Don't mind me. You're a spirit. I see. What happened? We've detected the fractured dimension that contains the final way marker of Canaan. Unfortunately, there's an obstacle somewhere within the dimensional abyss that's blocking all attempts at entry. I wonder if there's a way to circumvent it. We tried to force our way through, but were ever so rudely evicted. By the power of the four great spirits. The power Ooh, of the Oh, wow. Mila. Indeed. Mila Maxwell herself stands between us and the final way marker. It was Kronos who put her there. But escaping from the abyss should be child's play if she has the four with her. Perhaps it's not a matter of wanting to return, but of being unable. <laughs> She's remembering about her Regardless, disappearing. <laughs> the final way marker is beyond our reach until something is done about Mila Maxwell. I would like to request the help of Riza Maxia with this situation. Very well. We'll look for a solution on our end, too. The solution is clear, isn't it? Hey, where are you going? Yes, Rowan, what is it? That was weird. Ella and Mila are still somewhere in the city. Let's go find them. She doesn't want to disappear. I don't think so. At least she wants. Maybe she wants to try and kill the Mila of this dimension and become the Mila of this one. I don't know. It's very quiet now. Oh, uh, they're over there. So, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing awesome. Uh, been better, but um, hanging in there. Hanging in there. I decided, you know, let's start up. Let's play some awesome Tales of Exilia time. Try and knock out a, this chapter. I also need to buy stuff. Apple. Get some of those. He doesn't have all the other gems, like the gems, the gels, like the uh, the other areas. Bring Maxwell back. The 
That's right. The one who's keeping your Mila from returning is me. How do you know? Because two identical things can't coexist in the Prime Dimension. So she's stuck over there, that's what this it is. This world's not big enough for two Milas. Yours can't return until I'm gone. Mila, wait. The way to bring her back into her rightful dimension is obvious. Jude's cloak is bugging out a little me. bit. <gasps> oh, God. What? Ixnay in front of the kid, yeah? No point hiding it. It's the truth. Yeah, well, it's gonna have to wait. Gaius just called. He got word that Exodus is plotting a whopper of an attack. Don't tell me they're targeting the peace accord ceremony. He wants our help nipping this thing in the bud, so to speak. What do you say? <sighs> Let's go. I'm coming too. We'd appreciate it. You coming too? All right. Time to hurry then. Gaius is already on his way to where they're holding the ceremony in Marksburg. <laughs> I knew it all along. Ah, oh, this bastard. It's me. Put me in touch with those Exodus lowlifes, would you? What? I knew he was dirty. Exodus. Alright, to Marksburg. What sort of horrible scheme have they hatched this time? You're here. What's happening? Based on our documents, we're rounding up Exodus agents who slipped into the city. Quietly, of course. Yeah, it'd be bad news if the public found out. If people found out, you could just erase them from history. That's your specialty, right? Mila, take it easy. The really? Problem? We had a little tiff. I'm sure it's nothing to you. You destroy whole worlds. Taking me out is trivial. <laughs> really? Taking out Maxwell? Everybody stop fighting! The ceremony is about to get started. We've captured most of the Exodus members in the city. Now we just need to guard against attacks from without. <sighs> Damn Why is she so mad? They totally used me! Oh, sorry about that, Kitty. Marcus? Huh? Uh, Alvin! Hold up! He a friend of yours? Uh-huh. From back when I ran with Exodus. Oh, no. We'll tail him, Gaius. You keep an eye out for suspicious types at the city gate. One final thing. If the Mila we know had to die to fulfill her duty, you should know she wouldn't hesitate for a moment. So what? I don't even know what my duty is anymore. Why I want to save her. This easy? I hope I can. There he is. Try. Hey, don't get ahead of us. Marcus, buddy, thought I told you to ditch Exodus and fly right. I, I'm sorry. So you still roll with those guys? Maybe. As what, wimpy cowboy? In what world <laughs> is this guy a terrorist? <laughs> yeah, he's harmless. Just hangs out with the wrong crowd, that's all. Whenever the plan calls for a disposable stooge, he's their guy. Uh, you're right. I got played as usual. What do you mean? Well, I heard a transmission from the main group. The Exodus guys in town are for show. The real action's out there. Where? On that ship, the ESS Paloon. That's where Chancellor Marcia is. You're ambushing the Chancellor of Olympias? Oh boy. We better tell Gaius about this. 
It's too late. Exodus agents are on board posing as crew members. They should have struck by now. You dumbasses. Chancellor Damn. Marcia is a moderate. She opposed the Otherworld reactor plan. Meanwhile, lots of other politicians are yelling for Olympias to put the screws to Riza Maxia. If you guys take out the Chancellor, the peace process dies with her. I didn't make the damn plan. Look, there's no saving her. Exodus has definitely got the upper hand here. Not for long. They're not wasting the time Mila gave us. I brought Gaius up to speed. All right, it's time to board this ship. I'm coming with you. Are you sure? Yeah. I wouldn't miss this. Tango Looks with like Exodus. We've got a new do-gooder in town. <laughs> Silly Jude, I could have told you that. Should have piped up. But you know, this won't fix all the problems between Riza Maxia and Olympias. Not by a long shot. I mean, if we stuck our heads in the sand on this, nobody would be the wiser. Of course I'm not right. Why'd you bring it up then? <laughs> See? You knew I was messing with him. We should go. Sorry, Jude. Didn't mean to get us sidetracked. Marcus, get us a barge, man. Hop to it. What? Why me? And thanks for agreeing to be our decoy while we board the Paloon. Decoy? <laughs> but I didn't agree to nothing. <laughs> well, if Poor you're gonna be like that, might as well hand you to the cops. Wait. Okay, okay. I'll do it. Atta boy. Way to be a team player. Uh, you treat me worse than Exodus does. And those guys are a bunch of terrorists. You need better friends. <laughs> uh, listen to her. You might not actually want to. I mean, her friend is a cat. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm Maxwell. Remember? Board the balloon. Stop Exodus's plans. Exodus goons, it's happening. I'm Marcus with Infiltration. I need to talk to the main squad. Freeze! You're in violation of mission protocols! Wait! Come on, you guys. Just hear me out. Save it for the holding cell. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes decoy this failure. I thought for sure they'd take the bait. Damn. No, okay. Die. Here comes the cavalry. Huh? Uh. Damn. Got to keep your head about you, or you'll lose it. So what if I do? Isn't that what you want? No, of course it isn't. What about you, Mila? Is that what you want? Where's the Chancellor? Oh, uh, I know that. She's being held in the central hall with her aides. I don't know, I thought it'd change if I waited, but I probably missed a cool scene of me jumping one, in. You don't seem like a total loser. You should quit doing bad stuff, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe you're right.
I hate to say it. But this is all Elle's fault. <laughs> she shouldn't have brought her here. She could have disappeared with the other world and we would have been happy. Well, sad, but, you know, this wouldn't have happened. So Jude can help out some passengers. back and go through those doors back there I want to I gotta make sure I check those thoroughly they even slaughtered the women and children oh they're dead I'm gonna be sick damn Can't let L see this ah, that's a little messed up Exodus bastards. There. Oh, you're evil. That's fine. If I must. Ah. in here Room. No, 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 no. Big ship. The moon is the same model of ship as the Zenithra. And here it is, under attack from Exodus. Gotta love the irony. Mm, yeah, I guess. That's kinda. Yeah. That's Exodus for you, though. Oh wait, that was only one dude I saved? No, that one's dead. Okay. Yeah. 
Go. Bow axe. Bow axe. Is right. uh, Gotta watch your step, Mila. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, tell me the truth. Is it difficult for you to call me Mila? Why would it be difficult? You're Mila just as much as she is. Not to you, no. To you, I'm just a double. A counterfeit. I don't think that way. How do you think of me? I'm curious myself, actually. Seriously, Luger? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm curious. Tell her Look, you love her. This is real versus not real. My Mila and you are two different people. That's all there is to it. Well, thanks for telling me. I get the message. You know what? Of all the Milas, you're my favorite. Of course, I never met the other ones, so... Are you trying to cheer me up? No, Aww. I don't care. I just like your cooking and stuff. That's why I said it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> when this is all over, I'll make you a big pot of soup. If you're gonna make it anyway, then sign me up! Aww. Is everything gonna be okay with me and There! I understand where each of them are coming from. It's a delicate issue. There! Bell's grown pretty attached to Mila, huh? Almost makes me a little jealous. <laughs> makes me jealous. I want to be attached to Mila. The heck? How can that look like they're here to shake it? Like you too. You're acting strange, Mila. This whole dimension is what's strange. Pudding cake. I want some pudding cake. That sounds good. Pearl. I am. I finally found you. What? So he was looking for what her? You want from me already? Yes, calm down. I can do this. Mila. How she get so tired over one dude though? He really just suicided on us. Mila, are you okay? Uh -huh. He blew himself up because of me. Hate is too weak a word to describe Exodus's feelings for Mila. It's her own fault. She didn't finish them off when she had the chance. 
I'm glad she didn't, at least. Huh? My father is an Olympian. He used to be a member of Exodus. But he fell in love with Ariza Maxian, my mother. Once I was born, he gave up his life as an Exodus agent. <gasps> Wait, what? Looks like they're on to us. We better move. So does that mean... In my world, I killed Jude and his father when Jude was just a baby? Wow. So she finished off Exodus in her world. You're looking a little pale. Should we take a break? I'm fine. It's nothing. Poor Mila. you feel if I killed your daddy? Killed 
My daddy? My daddy can't die! I'm going to Canaan to save him! Daddy can't! I, I need my daddy! Relax! It's a hypothetical question. It's not real. If it's not real, then why would you ask it? Sorry. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll forgive you this time, but don't say weird things like that anymore. I'm sorry. I won't. I used to be the Lord of Spirits. And look at me now. How is it that you can say such things with a straight face? Did Julius teach you that? You too, Rolo. Now I know that this is Julius's influence. <laughs> hey, don't go pushing that girl off on me. You're still her guardian. And I expect you to protect her with your life. You hear me? Right. Not that it's any concern of mine, of course. There! Attack! There! <laughs> Oh no. Attack. Leave me alone. Wake him up. Okay. Gotta love the gear we're getting here. Whoa. Squeeze me. Uh, central deck. Alright, let's go. Well, that's it. Time to move on ahead. One press. Reverse doll. Alright, let's equip that. Who can wear that, though? I don't know who. It's none of us, it's got to be the magic users. Ah, uh, you can, okay. Cool. I'm a little bit worried about what might be ahead, but I'll take it head on. Hope for the best. The central hall should be just ahead. Yeah, we'll probably have hostages, so prepare yourself. I will try. Gave you the floor, Madam Chancellor. That bastard. Rideau! Why are you doing this? Oh, now don't give me that look. I'm here to help you solve your Maxwell problem. What? what? <laughs> He's got the chromatic form? Oh, God! What the hell are you talking about? Spirius knows the Counter Matrix are for summoning Maxwell. Yeah, right, Rideau. And I'm the king of Reza Maxia. 
Would you still think I was bluffing if I said Spurious was founded by Krisnik, the first human ever to summon Maxwell? <laughs> if only the art weren't so messy. First of all, you need to have a living circuit. Oh, God. And the secret ingredient is a living sacrifice. <gasps> oh, God, no! Don't let go! Damn you! There's no need for you to feign anger, Jude Mathis. You miss Maxwell, don't you? Your beloved wandering spirit. Take this! <laughs> and this! Wow. Make this stop! I see you're quite a hit with the kids. Phony. She's no phony! Mila! Is Mila! Afraid not. Aww. Don't let go. Just let me go. He'll kill Al. Don't give up, Mila, no matter what. Isn't that rich? You're the one who needs to give up. I can't let her go. I'll need you. I'm sorry. Bonus scene with Mila. I'm gonna have to leave the rest to you. No! Please! Look after Al! Mila! <laughs> the other one. You, but... I wouldn't like you. What? <laughs> Look who's back! <laughs> oh, that epic music. The Four Spirits! Mila. How nice of you to join us, Mila Maxwell. May I borrow that sword from you? Thank you. That's the Mila voice. <laughs> here we go. How nice of you to summon me here. So that's how it is. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the abyss. Take this bastard out once and for all. Nope. Now this is going to be fun. You two ready? Yes, they'll wipe that smile away. Get rid of these weirdos. Be gone. Impressive. Alright. Now, right here. No break. No break. Now. We got this. We got this. We got this. Here for you. Money going gonna chromatic form if I really need to. Now it's on. 
Bring it! We're not even gonna have to use my chromatic form. Got him. Thank you. I won't forget you. Jude? What is this? Well... This is our Mila. The one we remember and know. I am gonna miss that Mila, though. Hmm. Well, aren't you a strong one, Mila Maxwell? I admit I'm rather impressed. Hey, we helped. I hope you'll go after the Waymarker with a similar sense of fervor. You're not getting away. Yet they always do when someone says that. You bastard. Really? Damn it. You have my thanks. You're here from Spirius, right? Awkward. <laughs> that was, uh, because he let... He let go of Mila. Luca? Where's Mila? The other one. Is gone. Rest in peace, Otherworld Mila. No way! But this Mila's back. <laughs> it's really you. Uh, Mila! I searched everywhere for you. Sorry, Muse. I didn't mean to worry you. Any of you. Uh, I wasn't worried. We knew you'd be okay. It's good to see you again. worried about you there's another Mila you know and I'm worried about her Mila she's supposed to cook for me she promised oh what happened here? Well... Mila. Other Mila. I can't believe it. It's a brave thing she did. Madam Chancellor. Because of her and her selflessness, we can proceed with ratifying the peace accord. King Gaius, Prime Minister Rowan.
for foiling this assassination attempt. You have my most sincere thanks. You'd have done the same. Given what's occurred, perhaps you'd like to sign the treaty here and now. Harmony between Riza Maxia and Olympias would please me very much. Here on the ship? We've heard that many high-ranking Olympian officials stand against the treaty. Don't you worry. We'll employ this attack as our chance to press the offensive against them. No doubt many of them have ties to Exodus. And if we can't find proof, we'll make some up. Figuratively speaking, of course. Didn't hear what? I was just thinking aloud. But whatever you choose to do with that tidbit is up to you. <laughs> You're certain, madam? I pay my debts in full, Prime Minister. And besides, if I were too much of a do-gooder, you wouldn't trust me. <laughs> Are we really that easy to read, madam? I so look forward to dancing the diplomacy two-step with you, Your Highness. By your signatures, the treaty is ratified. Very good. We've crossed the first bridge, at least. A bridge of mere paper and ink. The gap between this deed and the will of the people is not easily traversed. A difficult road still awaits us. Every journey starts with the first step. Well, that's a threadbare cliché. <laughs> <laughs> However, it does ring true at the moment. Yes. If we keep setting one foot before the other, we can reach the ends of the Earth. You were a great help to me as well. It's not much, but consider this a small token of my thanks. Oh, just to be clear, this isn't a bribe. What is it? Mila, we have little time. You're right. Let's review the situation. Don't call her Mila! Every time I hear it, I want to barf! Al. Find Al. Wow, she ran far. Poor Al. Awkward silence. Why'd you do it? Why did you let me fall back there? What did she say? That's what Mila wanted. Even though she disappeared? That doesn't make sense. More than anything, she wanted to keep you safe. I just do. She was her own person, but she was still Mila Maxwell. We did sacrifice her. I can't deny it. But, by my sword, I swear to you that the loss of your Mila was not for nothing. I'm just a kid. Get to the point already, would ya? <laughs> 
Fair enough. I'll say it more simply then. L, I want to go with you to the land of Canaan. I want you to see what I do there. Sounds like you mean business. You speak of Canaan. What's going on there? The soul purification has reached its limit. In the Abyss, I saw it with my own eyes. There are too many fractured dimensions. Canaan is the only realm across all dimensions where the reincarnation process occurs. Thus it stands to reason that the impurity which must be cleansed from all those countless dimensions must be flowing into Canaan. If we do not eradicate those dimensions, the soul purification process will break down. In other words, the fractured dimensions are not only dispersing soul energy, they're also concentrating this impurity. Wonderful. Sounds like either one is enough to destroy the world on its own. What happens if soul purification breaks down? The resulting poisonous miasma will probably overflow. Couldn't the Great Spirit Origin step in and stop that from happening? Only if he thinks humans are worth saving in the first place. I think that's the whole point of Origin's trial. So be it. We've no choice but to reach Canaan and pass the Great Spirit's trial for the sake of all humanity. It is clear what wish we have to make to Origin. Destroy the fractured dimensions so this one may live. We have detected that Maxwell is no longer blocking our passage. What kind of orders did Spirius give that Rideau maniac anyway? Did something happen with Director Rideau? <laughs> Just checking. That means we can hightail it to the dimension containing the last way marker, right? Correct. However, right now the dimensional abyss is highly unstable. It will be some time before you can enter the rift with any degree of safety. We'll contact you once we've made our preparations. Selfish okay. bastards. I'm the reason. I unfortunately caused it when I harnessed mana out of the schism to take on a physical body. With the temporal crossroads gone, you merely did what you had to. It's taboo nonetheless. I'm using mana meant for preserving the world to maintain my physical form. Hold on. I can only remain in the human realm for a finite amount of time. Oh, wow. So she's got to go, too, at some point. Hey, 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 Luger! It's Nova calling to gab about gold again! How's the cash stash? Is the dough rolling in? Are you having a gold rush? We really don't need this right <laughs> now, Nova. the pun, you know. <sighs> oh, come on. Not even a snicker. Wait, is something wrong? Nothing. I have to pay back my loans either way, right? Uh, okay, if you say so. Boss man just wanted me to give you a little nudge. We have a bit of time. We should prepare for our final trip into the breach while we await Ferris' call. Yep. Good idea. We have a few chapter questing to do, I'm sure. I miss you, Mila. Oh! The end of chapter 11. I knew that I'd see you again one day. I thought so too. And I'm pleased to see you looking as well as ever. This job is for a really rare item. Alright, so we got the, uh, Armila. She's wearing the same stuff, I think. Alright, nothing really changed. Aside from her, um... Did, did she have a different alien, alien orb than I... 
No, no, no. Yeah, she has everything I gave the other Mila. Alright. So we definitely have some stuff to do. We got stuff in Triglyph. Uh, Nia Kara, Jandu. So we'll start, we'll start with Triglyph, we'll see what our first chapter quest will be. Mila, why? Oh. You seem unwell. Your Highness, can I ask you something? What's your job? I mean, what does a king do? Hmm. If I had to sum it up in a single line, I'd say it's putting the needs of his people before himself. Does that mean you'd be willing to die to save me? No. A king cannot sacrifice himself for any individual, not you or anyone else. That would be an abdication of duty and a betrayal of his subjects. Huh. Yeah, I can see that. However, if I could save someone important to me by risking my own life, I would do so without hesitation. But you just said you wouldn't die for someone. What's the difference? In other words, I would do what you and Mila did. My Mila? Yes. Although I imagine the Mila I know would have done the same. But it made me feel bad. You need to turn your sadness into pride for having been protected. Live a life that will prove to her that you were indeed worth saving. I don't entirely get it, but I think I sort of understand. Thanks, Your Highness. Ah. Luger, I was just talking to His Highness about what happened. He sort of helped me through it. Kids probably aren't supposed to bother kings with their problems, huh? Sure he was happy to help. Yeah, I think he was. Even though I'm just a kid, His Highness really tried to help. The kings in storybooks are mostly jerks, but His Highness is different. He's a good Aww. king. <laughs> Gaius is a good king. I would follow behind him. For sure. Well, in front of him, because we'd have to protect him. Uh, Alright, so it's Gaius. First and foremost, guys, chapter two. See you then. Leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, do all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.